Hey guys, this is Vanessa. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we're going to talk about creating on location portraits. So stay tuned and we're going to get straight into it. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by IREX. IREX is a company that was started by photographers who make amazing lenses both for photography and for cinematography. In this video, I will be using the 45mm manual focus lens. To get more information about this and all the lenses they offer, you can go to IREXUSA.com. Thank you IREX for sponsoring this video. Let's get into it. When I'm working in a studio, all I can do is pick a background, a color, and then I create. I don't have many options in terms of location. However, when I'm outdoors, there are so many options to choose from that it sometimes become overwhelming. The fact that there are so many options can paralyze me creatively because there are so many options. This paralysis leads to indecision which then leads to the inability to pick a location just to start a photo shoot. So how do I eliminate this paralysis and pick a location? So when I'm creating an on-location portrait, it's not so much about the location that's important to me, but it's three elements that I really look for. And that is light, composition, and the feeling that I'm going for as it relates to that portrait. Without the proper light, it will ruin the image. I choose this location because it offered me two things that I can use to my advantage from a lighting perspective. Number one, the sun was acting as a great rim light for my subject, which meant I didn't need to create it. Number two, my subject was in the shade, which allowed me to create my own light to set the tone and feeling of the image. For the main light, I used the Godox AD400 with a beauty dish. I also used another light, but more on that later. Composition, so I wanna talk a little bit about composition because I feel it's important when it comes to on-location portraits. So here's the thing, the available light which helps me pick the location sometimes, if not most times, leads me to terrible locations and this is where I feel composition and patience steps in. An image with amazing light but terrible composition can lead to a terrible image in my mind. So when I'm on location, there's a sense of commitment that I need to have once the spot is chosen. The commitment lies in the fact that I will not give up on that location until I find what I believe to be the best composition for the image I wanna create. This sense of commitment does require a bit of patience because I can quickly find the composition within a few seconds most of the time, or it will take me a few minutes to find the right composition, which can feel like forever on a photo shoot. For this photo shoot, it took me a few minutes to work out the right composition. Now, I will say, I don't always find the right composition, and sometimes I would need to move on to something else. So I picked this location because the light led me there, and I worked out the composition. So now, what's the other factor that goes into making me comfortable with the final image? And that is, how do I feel about the image? Now this feeling is subjective because how I feel and how you may feel about my or your images can vary. During a course of a photo shoot, I trust how I feel about an image and if I don't feel that image is good enough, I work very hard to get it to the point where I'm personally happy with it. For example, on this photo shoot, as I mentioned, I was happy with the rim light, aka the sun. I was happy with the main light, aka the beauty dish, but I felt something else was missing to me. 
In analyzing the images, I noticed based on my composition, there was a dark spot in the structure in the lower right of my frame, which I didn't like. Don't get me wrong, the image would have worked just fine with this element, but I personally didn't feel good about it. So I fixed it. I introduced a third light to the image. Yes, I'm including the sun as a light as well. The third light I introduced was the Godox AD200 with a seven inch reflector and a CTO gel. The primary purpose of this light was to light the inside of the dark structure so it didn't distract me. That said, I also didn't want the light itself to be a distraction, so that is why I chose to use a CTO gel as opposed to no gel at all. The gel made the light appear to be the sun cast in warm light in the structure. In summary, pick a location based on the available light, work hard on the composition, be sure that you're happy with the image, and be absolutely sure you feel good about the image. Don't be carried away about the blurry background, pretty lights, etc. Pay attention to the overall feeling of the pictures. Alright guys, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope it inspired you. Um, and I, I apologize if it was windy. <laughs> um, I think it, it feels a little bit windy out here. So if the wind came through on the mic, my apologies. I can't hear it because I'm shooting this all by myself. So apologies for that. But if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Share this video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And guys, I will see you on the next video. Take care. And for those of you that stayed to the end of this video and you were wondering where I was, well, don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Now, uh, if you guys read my post that I put in the community uh, tab, which I don't know if you guys see that, but if you notice, I put a post there maybe a, two months ago or something like that, and you would know why I wasn't posting a lot of stuff um, on my social media, you know, Instagram or on YouTube, you'll know why I haven't been posting. So anyways, if you guys want to be notified when I do post something, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I drop a video. All right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.